Well, Happy New Year, everybody. And uh, as I came back from a visit with my family, this is not what I expected. Uh, when I got back and heard people talking that we were going to have snow, I was kind of surprised. And then when I heard the forecast that it could be a significant amount, I was very doubtful and skeptical. And so even with all the warnings and everything that everybody said, to go through Monday and see all the snow was still unexpected. It was still a surprise. And it got me thinking for the year ahead, uh, since life is filled with the unexpected, because the only thing I know for sure for you and for me in 2022 is that there will be unexpected things contained within the year. And since we can't control that, it got me thinking about, well, how do we respond to the unexpected? Because you can't even prepare fully for the unexpected. You can try, but there are always weird things that happen, as evidenced by the massive line of cars stuck on I-95 for almost a full day. So what do we do? Well, one of the ways we can do it is see them as interruptions, unwelcome interruptions in our life. And people like this, if you were to look at the snow and everything's around us, uh, people like this saw it as a pain in the rear. They couldn't get to the restaurant. It was difficult to get to the store. They had to go outside and shovel, and it led to sore muscles. Uh, it, it, it stopped them from doing the things that they wanted to do or get where they wanted to get. It's wet. It's messy. And ultimately, someone who looks at these unexpected events like this sees them as unwelcome intrusions into life. And it leads to a, a grumbling attitude, a, a complaining something that, that leads sometimes, ultimately, people can even lead, lead them into depression. And all they want to do is get back to the way things are normally. But there's an alternative, because you could also look at the unexpected when it arrives as opportunities. Now, for something, again, like this snowfall, there were lots of opportunities. It might have been an opportunity to slow down, an opportunity to get some exercise and do some shoveling. It might have been an opportunity to, to help a neighbor, to, to do something for another person. Maybe it's an opportunity to make some extra money. Maybe it was just the opportunity to slow down, have a cup of hot chocolate with people you love in a way that you don't always get to do. For people like this, the unexpected is still an intrusion. It's still a change, but it's one that's filled with opportunities. Now, the only way I know to do this, really, especially when things are dark and difficult, because this is easy with snow, but not so easy when things are are dark and difficult when there's health issues or financial issues or big problems is to trust that for God, nothing is unexpected. Now, you know this, but to live and actually see the unexpected that God is not caught off guard, he is not unexpected, and more than that, he sees us in it. He's paying attention to us. He values us. He listens to our feedback and our complaints and our speaking. And when we do that, and if we, we understand and we believe that, then when the unexpected happens, and it will, we can look at it as an opportunity. Opportunity to grow personally, opportunity to grow our relationships with other people, and most importantly, to grow our relationship with God. So, as you face 2022, knowing that sometime in the next 12 months there will be unexpected things happen, sometimes good, uh, sometimes bad, a lot of times kind of in the middle, that regardless of what it is, we can choose now that we will, respond, we will respond to it in a way that sees it as filled with opportunities. Well, I hope this is a great year for you. Until next time, have a great day.